Hey ho, ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Rock to Vlog Live with me, Eugene Tay. This episode was brought to you by our ecosystem partners, OneChain and Liquid. Can you guess how many crypto assets are there out there in the market today? Well, CoinMarketCap has just announced their 2,000 coins listed on CoinMarketCap. This is a big deal because people have been saying that there is a bear market, there's negative sentiments for investors. However, we see with regards to the technology and even using ICO as an alternative fundraising, this is still seen as business as usual. Since 2013 till today, CoinMarketCap have reported a 13,000% increase in coin market capitalization to today $200 billion. Now, if you think that is staggering, last year in December, the market cap was at $800 billion, almost breaking the $1 trillion mark. And then, you, as you guys know, it just went downhill from there. Thank you, Little Roots. Please stay strong. So bears or not, folks are still listing and launching coins on CoinMarketCap. It's kind of like you put out all the bear traps, set all the signals for the Waldings, but yet they still come charging and listing and launching. Bear Sun Jones, or better known as rapper Young Dirty, has just launched an ODB coin in memory of his father, ex Wu Tang Clan member, Old Dirty Bastard. The coin, which will be made available on Alt Market Exchange, is built on the TAO blockchain network, which is designed for musicians to build their tokens. So what can you use the coins for? Well, you can use the coins to buy merchandise and stuff from Uten Clan. Stuff that you can already do with fiat anyway, but hey, tokens are cooler, right? In the recent statement, Young Dirty said that Bitcoin is the future of money and all fans want a part of the future of old dirty bastard. In the past, that's music was ahead of its time. So it makes sense that he would be ahead of the technology of money right now. I'm not so sure that you guys are ahead of the technology of money right now. But my main question is what are you using cryptocurrency for? If it's just a glorified version of the fiat to buy merchandise and stuff, now that's not really a use case, right? So maybe musicians to stick to doing what you guys are good at and just do music and take on the technology at a later time when there is a real use case for you guys to really adopt blockchain. Or that special section for men in the video store. You get what I mean? Oh, behave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby! <laughs> yeah. Tencent, WeBank and Huawei has formed a consortium called the Financial Blockchain Sunchen Consortium, or FISCO as they call themselves, and they've announced a coinless blockchain network called BCOS, spelled as B-C-O-S. And what does it aim to do? Well, to smoothen transactions and to play ball with regulators. And all this is done without a crypto token. So, blockchain without crypto. Now, isn't that just like Ripple? Oh wait, no, Ripple has tokens, but it's just that the tokens are not part of the same ecosystem. So he's really not a part of our family. Also, he's divorced, so he's really not a part of his family. Syria compliant crypto asset called Norcoin has presented its demo case in Indonesia in front of the Islamic Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Agriculture of the OIC in October just recently, last week. And why this is such a big deal is that for the first time, this idea of cryptocurrency is being put forth to a very conservative bunch of people from the Islamic states on the actual use case and adoption of cryptocurrency for real Islamic users. Among the attendees was the ambassador of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, His Excellency Osam Muhammad Abdullah Shibi, who said, 
The use of digital money in Islamic countries is very important. In addition to facilitating transactions, the main objective is to reduce the dominance of the US dollar. Norcoin can be used for Ampera and Hajj services as well as interstate transactions. Now, this is something that the conspiracy theorists would be celebrating about because there's been a long conversation about a deep state and countries trying to unpack themselves on the US dollar and petrodollar and this will lead to the demise of fiat currency as we know it. So US dollar being a dominant big bad guy in all the countries who were forced to be dependent on US dollar which really is actually not backed by anything but the federal government. Oh no, sorry, I take that back. The Federal Reserve which is not a government, it's actually a private entity. So by moving away from the reliance of US dollar, thus we are moving away from the Fed's control. But that also means now each country like Norcoin could be a potential new bad guy that is designed to take over control of its own population. Because when you start learning more about fiat and cryptocurrency and the Federal Reserve, it really starts to open a whole can of worms and make you question what this fiat currency and US dollar is all about. What, what, what? And now it seems that more and more countries are moving away from the reliance of the US dollar. Sony has developed a hardware crypto wallet that doubles up as an identity card. So soon you can go around to the supermarket or gas stations and pay with your identity card using crypto instead of cash. So having an identity card that tracks your whereabouts, what you spend and everything you do in an immutable landscape for the world to see now, this is something that, again, conspiracy theories have warned us about. Conspiracy theories believe that the Illuminati is trying to plant a chip in everybody so that in future nobody is free from the eyes of the government or the deep state. In your phone was a GPS sat tracker. Pulses at 24 gigahertz. I don't know what that means. It's like a low jack, only two generations better than what the police have. And what does that mean? You speak English? Obviously not that well. You're kind of a jerk, aren't you? It means the NSA can read the time off your fucking wristwatch. So depending on which side of the fence you're on, now this is going to create lots of lots of conversation, fear, paranoia, and a pretty interesting story to tell as well. So are we going with the use case? Ease of use. What do you think? Would you like an identity card that doubles up as a wallet? Or are you really afraid that this is something that the government is going to track you with? Whether you want to or not. In my last piece of news today, a 23-year-old Australian woman hacked into an email account of a 53-year-old man, got into his wallet and stole $100,000 worth of Ripple tokens. The police task force called the Public Order and Riot Squad, or P-O-R-S for short, caught the woman in her parents' house in Ebbing and seized all her electronic devices. We've got his hard drives. <laughs> Documents we photographed during Chinese. We've got his hard drives, his hard drives, his hard drives, his hard drives, his hard drives. When I think about hackers, I think about crash override, zero cool, acid burns, and even Neo from Matrix. But the reality is, most hackers live in their parents' basement and don't look anything like the hackers in Hollywood. I will give you an introduction to hacking and tell you how many different types of hacking there are and why people do it. Forty-five seconds. I'm trying. It's moving too fast. Oh, this is not good. We're using our connection to the Infus database. Once you've had Ron Bauer, you just can't go back to any other Chardonnay. Right? Who are you? Well, I've been out of the game for a little while, but you used to call me the Piranha. I had to overclock Anton, but I was able to brute force the backdoor password to that Chrome piece of shit in under twelve hours. But I added a little visual flair. It could also be lots of other people. It also could be somebody sitting on their bed that weighs 400 pounds, okay? Now, the 
main thing I have to say about this piece of news is if you're going to hack somebody, why steal Ripple? And you stole it at an all-time high. I guess right now you must have just about half the value of the portfolio you stole. And then you still have to pay the same price and get caught by the police. Well, that's all the news I have for you guys today. My name is Eugene Tay signing out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Something wasn't right here Oh baby, baby